So, <clears throat> this is my generator. And it uses a three phase brushless DC motor and goes to a pulley with a small flywheel in here, which I need to weld, but it spins anyway. And then we've got a big pulley here to a small pulley here and a big flywheel. This is a three phase AC motor that I use as a generator which you will see because once it starts generating electricity, this light will light up. And the idea is to loop this. So I'm testing the watts coming from the, that's powering the controller. I'm testing the watts for that. And I'm going to test the watt output of this. So I need to hook up this little guy to the output of the motor if you give me just a second I will put you right up here Now we should be good to go, and we're going to see from this will tell us the watts coming out of the generator here, or three-phase motor, and this should tell us the watts that uh, it requires to run the prime mover, which the prime mover is the three-phase motor here. I've seen similar machines to this, and they use... <clears throat> AC motors, uh, usually single phase AC motors as the prime mover. And my idea is basically is they say three phase motors are more efficient. So I want to try and use a three phase motor to make it at my prime mover. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to put a three phase AC, I mean a single phase AC motor on there as my prime mover. I've got plenty of motors to, uh, figure out what I want to do. So We'll go from there and let's fire it up real quick if you don't mind take a second hit all those buttons down there hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel for uh, more content like this I would really appreciate it it really helps me out um, I, I would like to get to a thousand subscribers and uh, I'll be doing some giveaways and uh, give away some pretty cool stuff so hit that subscribe button let's get back to the video so once i get above 100 this thing will start turning boop oh no it won't oh i have to turn on the relay <laughs> let's turn on the relay Duh. okay now hopefully our relay is on so we will try this again Here we go. There we go. And you can see the light here. Once we are generating, our little light will power up. So. Wow, 130 watts. Or is that volts? That's volts. Let's figure out our watts. 5.15 5 watts. Not a very good tester, is it? So, let's put something with some more wattage in there. Make sure our bolts are good. 139 volts. Our hertz 
are 34.6, which is really low. So anything that is Hertz sensitive may not be a good choice. But I don't think this soldering station is Hertz sensitive. We're going to find out. Now we are getting 38 watts from the old soldering station. And let's see what we are requiring to run. Hundred and fifty watts, which is typical. So what I really plan to do is use a UPS like this, which right now is running the battery charger, um, but a UPS and have it plugged into mains because the UPS is not designed to, to last long unless I put another battery on it, a big battery on it. But basically I'm going to use the UPS to power the controller. When this motor here begins to output uh, a, a load, or output amperage, then I'm going to take that power, if I can get the 60 hertz, 120 volts correct, then I'm going to use that to then power the UPS. And if that powers the UPS, in a sense, the relay will shut off automatically, it will stop using the battery, and it will then run the controller off the voltage coming from the three-phase motor. So that's the plan. Um, right now it looks like my Hertz is low, and hell, let's try it. See what it does. In a sense, it's going to try and use the power directly from here to power the load. And, you know, who knows, it might work. But in the end, this is just a sneak peek. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you checking in the channel. I've got some more work to do. I've got some more wiring to do. I just wanted to show you guys the generator. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, keep experimenting. Peace.